How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this unboxing and boot review video of the Nike Phantom GX2. These are in the Academy tiers, so roughly costing around 80 to 90 euros a pound. Do have a look on the description below in this video. We've made a link in terms of where we brought them from and do get yourself a pair as these are very, very popular, especially for the Academy tiers with people with a lower budget. So the main difference that we find from these separate them from the pros and the elites it's just the upper of the material having a bit more basic um, on the upper and the material is very thin so it offers lesser protection than the likes of the pro and the elite editions which has a bit more thicker material and has more emphasis on that kind of striking area first touch materials um, and also acc all conditions control there isn't on these ones so do make sure to um, highlight that Although, you know, first touch control in all conditions, you can train that with your own training and your own time. So it doesn't make too much difference. Uh, it's more of a tech aspect or technical aspect in terms of the materials used on the upper, which makes a very, very difference, a small difference in terms of details. So if you've got a low budget or you're only playing every so often, like once a week or twice a week or once every two weeks, then these are the ideal boots for you. You don't have to be playing every day for these. It's just a nice pair of football boots to play football with, kind of like a recreational sport. So if you're playing once on the weekday for like five aside with your friends, and then you play a bit of football on the weekend, and then these are a very nice pair of boots to go for. The other reason is that these accommodate all feet types. So through our recommendation in terms of what sizing to go for, you can then just go and try them on in your local football boots area or just order them online with one or two pairs and then just return the one that doesn't fit as well. So for narrow feet, we recommend going one full size down from your usual night footwear size. That will give you a tight and snug fit. If you want a bit more space in terms of midfoot and toe box area, once you've done up laces, then go a half size down for narrow feet. For normal feet types, we recommend a half size down. Wide feet, true to size and very wide feet to go true to size. And if it's too snug and tight, then just go a half size up and that shall be fine. So if you follow these recommendations of sizings, then you can just work your way from there and then find the right size and adjust it from, from the recommendations we've given you. Likewise, make sure to continue on leaving comments in this video. If you have a pair of these yourself in this colorway or older colorway, as your feedback and your review really help out people in terms of uh, making a decision if they're transitioning to these boots from a different brand or you think of changing from let's say TM pose to these your comments in terms of writing what feet type you have what what you find out about good and what could be improved about these boots what to look out for have shown to really help out new viewers and new people buying these boots so please continue on leaving your feedback and insight as it's proved to shown to be very effective um, and very helpful now these ones, you can wear them on FGAG. We recommend at least two weeks use out of the box training by yourself or with a few friends just to get used to the boots in terms of the design. Um, so it's more of a kind of like more surface area on the toe box area and also the striking area. You can have a lot of space. So if you're changing from a speed boot to these, it takes a bit of time to get used to them. Also it just gives them the boots some time to soften up from the up of the material. And then over time, maybe the two week mark, it'll become really nice and comfortable to wear. And then you can take them into the likes of team training and matches afterwards. So do give them that two week period when you're trying them out on FG and AG pitches. Um, and you're gonna save a lot of money being able to buy these and use them for two surfaces. We would not recommend you to wear these on the likes of 2G sand pitches or like hard concrete pitches. Um, go for the turf editions. Even we've had comments from people from different countries saying about hard mud grounds, wear the turf editions of these, which is much better for your feet or the sole. Um, and then also reduces any chance of breaking the plastics on the sole plate, which is increases or reduces the chance of the durability not lasting so long. And then you have to get yourself a new pair. So make sure to yeah get the turf editions of these, exactly the same boot, but just with the different sole plate. And we have done an unboxing of those in our channel as well. So make sure to have a little search and you'll be able to watch a review on those. But thank you again for watching this quick unboxing and review of the Phantom GX2 Academies. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like and to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time for another unboxing and review in the near future. All the very best and take care.